Hello and welcome to this short video on more calculations involving mass. Okay, so today we're going to look at um, how to calculate the mass of a product based on uh, how much you have of reactant or um, how much you have of product and therefore calculate how much um, reactant you will need. Okay, so let's have a look at this example here. So it says calculate the mass of water produced when 336 grams of methane is burned according to the following equation. So we have methane here plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and water. So this equation is balanced. Um, and um, so what we're going to do is we're first of all, we're going to write the mole ratio. Okay, so I'll just put down here mole ratio. And we're interested in water and we're interested in methane so methane and water so there's one mole here it's the number in front of either the reactant or the product and um, we've got two here so it's a one to two mole ratio okay so let's work out the number of moles moles of methane and the moles of methane is equal to mass divided by GFM, which is gram formula mass. And that there would give us 336. 336 divided by 16. And that gives us 21 moles. Okay, so if I then put at the bottom here, um, I'll put this in blue. So if I put this down at the bottom and I put moles, here and I say this is 21, I have to then times this by 2 because it's a 1 to 2 mole ratio, so it's 42 moles here of water. Okay, so now what I can do, I can then calculate the mass of water produced. So I can say mass of water produced is equal to number of moles times gram formula mass which is 42 waters gram formula mass is 18 and that gives us 42 times 18 gives us 756 grams okay so let's just have a look then at the uh, triangle that we're using there in that um, example so you should be familiar with this. So this is mass, number of moles, gram formula mass. So we can work this out. Gram formula mass you can work out from your data booklet or um, the periodic table. So if we have something like, for example, like methane, we know that carbon is 12. We know that hydrogen is 1. And there's four of them, so it's 4 times 1. So the gram formula mass of methane is 16 grams. Okay. So we can use this uh, triangle here to work out mass. So mass is equal to number of moles multiplied by GFM. Number of moles times GFM. And number of moles, which is called N, is equal to mass and um, mass divided by GFM. Okay, so it's really important that you know how to use this triangle. So let's have a look then at another example. Calculate the mass of magnesium chloride produced in the reaction of 1.5 grams of magnesium with excess chlorine. So excess chlorine just means there's a lot, there's a lot of it and you don't have to um, worry about that, that there's plenty of it in the reaction. So let's again look at the mole ratio. Mole ratio. This equation is balanced again. You can see that. You can check. So we're interested in the mass of magnesium chloride in the reaction of 1.5 grams of magnesium. So it's a 1 to 1 mole ratio. Let's calculate the moles of magnesium. So given our triangle here, number of moles is mass over GFM. So it's going to be mass over GFM. And that is going to be um, 1.5 grams Gram formula mass of magnesium in your data booklet is 24.3. And when we do that, 1.5 divided by 24.3 is 0 0.06. I've rounded this. 
So what we do then is we then type in the actual moles. So if we've got 0 0.06 moles here, it's a one to one mole ratio. So we've got 0 0.06 moles here. If it was one to two, we'd have to times this by two. So it would be 0 0.1, um, 0 0.12. It'd be, it'd be double this, but it's one to one. So it's fairly straightforward. OK, so what we then do now is the GFM of magnesium chloride. Let's work out that GFM of magnesium chloride. So magnesium is 24.3 and chlorine is 35 and we've got two of them. OK, so that gives us 90, 95.3 grams. So that is the gram formula mass of magnesium chloride. So we can then, that's what the question is, calculate the mass of magnesium chloride. So the mass of magnesium chloride is equal to number of moles times GFM, which is 0 0.06 multiplied by GFM, which is 95.3. And that gives us 5.72 grams and I've rounded that to two decimal places. Okay, so let's have a look at one more example. Calculate the mass of hydrogen required to react with 55 grams of nitrogen. So let's just set this up again, mole ratio. And we're interested in nitrogen and hydrogen. So we've got one to three, it's a one to three mole ratio. And let's work out the number of moles of nitrogen because we're told that we've got 55 grams of nitrogen. So moles of nitrogen is going to be mass over GFM, which is 55 over 28. So nitrogen on its own is 14, but it's diatomic. So it's 28, so we times it by two. So 55 divided by 28, that gives us 1.96 moles. OK, so again, I'll just pop this in blue. So if we have uh, moles here and this is 1.96, we have to multiply this by three to get the hydrogen. So we have to times this by three because it's a one to three mole ratio. So that will give us 5.88 when we do that. OK, so now what we can do, we can now work out the mass of hydrogen. So we can say mass of hydrogen is equal to number of moles times GFM, which is 5.88 multiplied by 2. GFM of hydrogen is 2, it's diatomic as well. So that then gives us 11.76 grams. I've rounded that to two decimal places. OK, so the most important thing about this is to remember this triangle and how to use it. And you really can't go wrong with these calculations.